channel. My name is Nicole Cole. I thought I would give y'all some inspiration on how to decorate your living room. Some way to make it feel a little homey, uh, a little more farmhouse. Um, so I just, what I did is I took everything out so y'all can see it. So my suggestion, a very neutral rug. I got this off of Amazon. It was not that expensive. I would say around 200 maybe $300. Um, I use neutral pieces and that way I can add colors. So, because things change so much as far as color schemes, I try to keep my palette, and palette meaning my furniture pieces, my big expensive items. I try to keep those more neutral so I can just add the colors uh, to them as, as they change or as the seasons change. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in pillows. I love buffalo plaid, so I'm going to add the buffalo plaid to it. Now you could do a quilt on the back. Let's try a quilt on the back. pillow in the center. So we've got a pillow in the center, a pillow on either side. These are just black and white buffalo plaid pillow covers that I bought off of Amazon. Very inexpensive. Uh, as far as how you do your quilts, everybody does them so differently. You can fold them. Let's show you. So you can fold them and um, do them on the side. You can do that way. I like to just take it kind of throw it over the shoulder, you know, over the shoulder, I guess, over the, I'm all about shoulders right now. So just throw it over the arm and just, you know, kind of play with it and get it, give it the look that you want it to have. I don't like it. All right, so let's talk coffee tables. I like to keep my coffee table simple. I like to keep my coffee table on something that I can just pick up and move off in case the grandchildren come, the children come, or I want to change the decor. So this is just a simple wooden crate box that I have. You could use a tray. You could use um, a basket top. I mean, there's just all, all kinds of things you can use. Y'all can see underneath my coffee table, I have this little chicken chicken box and I love it. Um, I got this a long while back and I finally got wheels put on it and put it under my coffee table. I saw it in a magazine and I took that inspiration and I ran with it. So I have this little galvanized piece. I'm just gonna stick that in the center. And these, all these pieces that I'm using, I had around the house in other areas. So you can move things from one room to the other and, and, um, and change the whole look of a room. So I have this little um, boat cleat, uh, not boat cleat, boat propeller, and I'm gonna add that right there. And then I had, I bought this from Hobby Lobby. It's a, um, it's a little greenery that has a little styrofoam piece on the bottom. And I thought, oh, how cute, wouldn't that be sweet in my little coffee cup? So I'm just gonna, go um wait I think I have a little piece of wood over here I'm gonna put that under it give me just a sec yeah so I have this piece of wood it's just a uh, uh I don't think it's a one by four or two by four or four by four but anyways this size that I have I'm gonna put that so I can elevate my little coffee cup, okay? And then I have this little fish that my dad carved out of wood and I'm gonna stick that there. Now y'all look how much difference that made. Inexpensive pillows, uh, just a simple arrangement in the center. And it was things that I picked up around the house. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. 
Let's move to another area of the room and we'll add a little bit. All right, this little area is on the other side of our living room. It backs up to our little porch area out there. I have a little table in the center and I'm just gonna add this uh, glass piece here. Uh, that's filled with some old um, fishing lures and some knives and things. So it just kind of goes with my decor. I have that. This little piece, uh, y'all may have seen in some of my posts, my great grandfather was a doctor here locally. So I have one of his um, prescription pads and I have framed that and I'm just gonna put that right there. And then I have another one of those little boat propellers just to kind of go with the theme. So I don't do a lot over here on these chairs. I will do um, a quilt. And you can do these however you want. Uh, you know, like I said, some people fold them. I don't fold them most of the time. I have this cute fish pillow that I picked up at Walmart. I'm gonna do that on this one, this chair. And then I have this other one that I got off of Amazon. It says, heaven is a little closer in the home on the, by the water. And I'm gonna stick that there. So look how much that dressed it off. It wasn't that much. A quilt, two pillows, a glass piece, and a framed piece of art. Simple, simple. So this little table sits in between my couch and our recliners where we like to watch TV. I've got an old piece of driftwood that I'm gonna stick on this table or that I keep on this table. And then I have a um, milk, milk glass vase that has a succulent in it. I'm just gonna stick that in here. I also like to use books as decor in my living room. I have some old books that I use. So have that there. You could easily put your, your plant on that. And I have this old boat, uh, excuse me, this old shoe thing that I use here and there. You could do that this way. Let's see. And group it all together that way. Just some interest on that table. So um, that's how to do just a little small table. And then you could do coasters on there. I, I keep coasters on all of my furniture just because I want um, the kids to use that when they're here and the husband. Now I'm gonna show you our last little area. So this is our recliners. It is a um, couch. I got this here, oh, here in town at Harold's. So we, when the kids are here, we can change it into a couch or we can lay this part down and use it uh, when it's just us and there's recliners on either side. Um, so, and it's got cup holders, because you know, the husband likes that. What I did is I did a basket. It seemed like we had a ton of pins or you're on the phone and you can't find a pin. So I just did a little basket. The basket has pins in it. It has all our remotes in it. It has the remotes for our lamps in it. And that is all I do right here. Um, the reason I keep this one simple is because this is where we sit every night to watch TV because the TV is directly in front of us. So I keep this very simple. But um, I think it turned out really cute. I'm gonna let y'all see. So there's the coffee table arrangement we did. Very simple, just a tray per se, a coffee cup, an old antique coffee cup on a piece of wood with a little boat propeller. And then I wanted to share again with y'all, see my little chicken box up underneath there, so sweet. We did very simple pillows on the couch. And I do change those out. And you can either buy them off Amazon or I have a super great girl with low key customs here in Andalusia. She's made me a ton of pillows, very inexpensive. Just a little quilt, little table, just a very simple milk glass vase with a succulent flower in it and some old books and a piece of wood and a, rain, a deer antler. How easy is that? Really sweet. Little basket between my husband and I and our recliners. 
that we sit every night area. Very simple. Let y'all get a closer look at that glass piece with all the whatnots in it. Just a little framed memorabilia there. This little table is sweet. I got it at Vera's and this chair as well. Hope y'all enjoyed tonight. I surely did. Y'all have a great evening.